What's up guys, those of you watching this YouTube, this is my channel. Now I'm going to speak to you guys about basketball wives. And I'm not going to see the scenes, but I'm just going to say some details about this uh, whole season and half the um, episode. Well, I actually start probably episode 7. Because episode 7 probably was good and to the end it got really excited. Now I'm gonna start off about how it uh, start off uh, start off for last week with his first uh send off because it's just some he says she says something like who say that everyone is loose or something which is really ridiculous to me. So um Kenya uh, no, I mean Kisha and Susie know herself walked away and don't want to be in this situation and Terry's like not now Kenya is not the good good person right now. Actually, nobody's not the ghost person in this situation at all. Calling Susie. So Susie knows about, uh, after she left with my kids, so she doesn't want to go back to and say, she don't have the whole story what's going on with King or what she said, but she so nosy to me. Too nosy. Now, King is trying to fix up all, uh, fix up all wise and stuff, and saying, I just heard her because you were loose. And as you can tell by Anthony expressions like she really want to go off, got the fans, he tapping like that, and she was going to go stop and say and like that, and I'm like, shut up, Susie, please. Then skip that the whole uh, scene, uh, skip the scene, go to the general house, and um, then it's King, uh, this Kisa and Susie know to burn. And tell them about the situation, and they miss, and they miss them about getting the house. Who cares? All you fools will have some fashion, this fashion, this show. So don't start. So anyway, um, they, uh, they were explaining all about what happened with Kim. Sorry, that was the wind at the after me. So then, um, they explained to, um, Ken, uh, to Jennifer how Ken was saying that, um, that, uh, saying that, that she made up a lot that said, she heard, said that she heard that everything is loose or a whore or something like that. But, but, you know, Jennifer was just surprised to like, huh? Like, she just so dumbfounded. Anyway, um, uh, come back, uh, next scene, I don't remember, and uh, I'm just gonna mess up the scene, the scene, Royce mess up with these producers that I never heard of before. That was me, I'm, I'm doing a video. Oh, okay. You to my down? No, um, I'm thinking about it. So anyway, um, Oh yeah, um, Jennifer and met up with Kenya, and I don't know why she was wearing, and then she wearing a different wig or weave or whatever the heck is well on her head. It's just sitting there. And why she dressing up like a school teacher? So anyway, they were explaining about how she feel about, because she's doing the same, uh, she's going through the same thing as, um, Jennifer, um, to hold the voice. Which I think is finalized already. And Kenya, she still the only basketball wife in there because she's finally about the voice, but she's still married at this point. And I'm not gonna explain that. And she's saying about somebody saying about well, she's saying about a whole damn capacity and saying, well, they kind of be jealous of being haters. Hit her on what? Your whole situation is a mess. And honestly, the whole uh, conversation about Evan Loops. <laughs> You don't have to explain it down, but you caught up with your lies and you screwing it up. And I see how you doing it, Kenya. So anyway, um, that scene of, uh, oh wait, I forgot about Royce. Royce, they met up with these, um, producers and she joined a, um, fitness hip hop, um, video. And I will remember my way and go to the next scene, see the next scene, um, Next scene is, is 
is Sony season LA of John Pinnacle ten years birthday. And she think about getting uh mildest behavior uh, being attempt to hoop up to see her uh, birthday uh, ten birthday place. And she's trying to figure it out. And that's the only positive thing that this show I ever had but Sony. So then she's a uh, half her friend over named Kara or Sakara or something. Kara. And she was a uh, witness to how it was and said that all that everybody was loose or something like a whore and like that. And man, and I'm like, what, what is this about? This whole thing about King and said this about. So high school. Anyway, I'm not getting that scene because they were in the beast and talking about it, and I'm not going through that. So, Ross and Tammy meet up and um, talk about how this assistant friend is growing up, and and Ross and Tammy was like, I uh, can't even want to do this. Um, which is saying she needs to work, but she said it, said it the real way to her. Say how a mess she doing, and saying like a uh, pack up choir, like a church, church or something. But anyway, skip to that scene. I don't want. I don't want me with my Susie man up a voice, don't bum my ass. Oh, and we're, we're sitting in the tongue to her, uh, Susie, and Susie talking to her, and missing that. Maybe just you and Cinnabon uh, made a made up, because Cinnabon doesn't have much friends around her that much. Well, the only person you hung around is Kenya, which, is, which that is not enough. Swartz so not stunned about her, still pissed up about uh, how she. Is still going to run up and doing his splendor because I don't know what's up with Chance. She's just having a mess up beat with her for no reason because of a damn tweet from her ex. And that's ridiculous. And what's not stunned about that? Why is she so messy up so much? Because all she needs to do is uh, let her talk to the story of what they been about because last thing we uh, had together is the season two where they was in Spain something playing about her like why are you coming in the first place and that was it so skip to the scene and I seen Evelyn met up with Kisa who uh, had a friend from out of town called Kara and they see explained the uh, living but uh, how she see, see her that she's uh keen to see that she was loose or something like that. And Emperor was like, Oh, she, she did say that. She ain't not believing believing it. I don't know what to believe if she said that or not. I don't know if that's true or not. But Kenya do not have to explain it to y'all. She does caught up with her lies, but a dumb uh, mistake. Anyway, and then the end of the night, the big scene of the night, everybody needs up, Evelyn, Tammy, Sonny, Susie, and then walks out, Kenya, and what's your friend's black dress like she coming from the funeral, and that dress looks for me like uh, from uh, Audrey, Audrey Hepburn wear on oh, my fair lady or something, and so, um, so Kim Ke met up with them and and then Kisha showed up with her friend Ka Sakara or Kara or whatever her freaking name is and Kim was sitting there like, oh snap. So T does, um, I will remember my but T does not have a book about Kim was there he heard that Everything was loose. That's the only thing that I um, keep saying is that a whore and or start to see as she said, but who cares? Who cares? And everything's like pissed up and still pissed up because if she sees things she, she said it just tell the truth and Kenya was like sitting there calm like uh, yeah, I'll maybe do maybe must and yada 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 and Evelyn's still not having it and she get old frustrated and pissed off for no reason it starts picking up a fight for child itself and she ended up like um 
I'm miserable. I'm the bitch to uh like as a tube for cover out of my back or something, yada yada yada. And you don't like me to stupid. bad. That's all I remember. So, um Kenny was just like, but I don't know you and she was and Evelyn was like, Oh yeah, that's good, blah blah blah, yeah. And ridiculous and she saw Ting out go take off with bigger rings and stuff, earrings. And stay up yapping in the mouth because she all do is just talk, 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 yapping in the mouth. Don't you say that I would say you start to be like Sony with Sony look dumb and like well thick of expressions about all of this drama. She caught up one of point itself. And she she don't know this girl. And call out Tammy, uh, who we started to look like Tammy, and Tammy is sitting there looking like, What? Bitch, don't start with me, and stuff like And she like, and everyone like, I wish you would take that to my face, and Tammy you said that, and Can I again say I don't, and stop right there, and everyone explain, explain that to her again And can you say this again, like, like I said I don't remember and that's it. And Evelyn gets up, get her liquid so curves, whoop, alcoholic. And slowly done trying to get out of here and Kenya immediately go her butt out and t t t Tammy starting to hold on to Evelyn. And all of a sudden this bitch just had the nerve to draw a freaking champagne parlor which that's gonna be hurt with somebody she gonna hurt somebody and she be in you know, love getting sued and go to jail by this and then don't draw the place like a kid and she, and she said if she if she all ass again I will kill that's totally a trap for himself and that's all I have to say about the episode the whole highlight of that is the last scene it was a hot freaking mess and Kisa is a mess to bring her friend to. I'm not saying that she's too much messy, but she's just messy a little bit to me. Why have never been friend to serve the witness up is what Kenyan said. I just don't get it, and it's dumb spanner to me. I feel like it's gonna be high school is because I wanna hear something like that back then in my high school time. But, going where it's time to do that the same way. So that's it for this episode. I really have much to say. Oh, and happy Easter day. I forgot to mention that too. And so I'm going to see you guys in my next video. I had to say much. And I focus on cooking Easter food and stuff. And shout out to my, I want some new subscribers. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter call. It's Jay, Jay and Kenneth. And and that's it. So I'll see you guys later and till the next video. I'll see you guys later and take care of yourself. And happy Easter Day again. Bye.